So, the last three type of reactions, first one is called synthesis, okay? And we'll do uh, about three practice ones for each one of these. We're taking notes. Yeah. So after we're done today, there's no new stuff, but if you've been gone... <laughs> feel that you need to come in or should come in to get some extra help, I encourage you to do that over the next couple of days. Watch the videos. No, they're not that great. <laughs> I have watched those videos. And I think some students in here from past experiences, you know, have come in and figured some things out, but after the test, and so, preferably, you come in before the test. That's usually the case, to figure things out. I, I'm just laying those things out there, and, and I know there's a lot of you that won't come in for whatever reason. I do not know why. I would say 97% of the students will not come in for help. You know, they, they're scared of me. It's like, I'm not going to him. He's scary. <clears throat> okay, but those students that do usually are able to, just in a short period of time, get that little one-on-one -on -one extra help um, to, to get things done. And most times this test is really a pretty good test for students. I would say the majority of the students, on average, I would say the average is probably, um, you know, 83, 84. Which isn't really bad when you take account all the students in class. Because there'll be some students that will just completely bomb. Okay, and there'll be other students that do real well, and then there's in between. But for the most part, this test isn't really that bad. A test. All right. So the first one that you have is synthesis. I just put generic letters here, and synthesis just means you're making and putting something together. So you're synthesizing something. You're putting it together. So we're going to take two elements and put them together, and when we put them together, we got to make sure the charges, our oxidation states, equal out to zero. Okay, I'm going to have you do uh, one. And just based upon what's written above, I want you to predict what the product is of that. Okay, I'm not going to do one for you. I want you to see if you can do it on your own, and then I'll give you two more. So sodium plus fluorine gas. Now you've got to make a prediction of what you think your product is based upon what synthesis reactions are like. Get Na and F, and then this is a plus one and that's a minus one, and so that's, that's okay to write that way. If you wrote Na, Na at F2, that's wrong. Because minus one becomes a minus two, and then you only have a plus one. So you can't do that. So what you have to do is balance it by putting a two in front of that, two in front of that. That's what I did. And then that would work. So if we just wrote NAF, that would be wrong. We have to put the well, you might have a half a point taken off because you didn't take the time to balance it. So you always got to look to balance it. When do we take a test? Thursday. Thursday. Over it. Yes. Okay, next one. I'll give you two in a row here. All right? So I'm going to give you... Okay, go ahead and do those two. Okay, these are synthesis. They're pretty easy to recognize. Um... Okay, so AL and BR, you put them one, the best thing to do is just put one of each and look at your charges. Aluminum becomes a plus three, and bromine's a minus one, so you have to have three of them. 
So it's ALBR free. Right. Then you got to balance it. And that's that 3 and 2 relationship. So you put a 2 in front of ALBR BR free, a 3 in front of BR2, and a 2 in front of AS. So this is pretty much so Why do we put a 2? In front it's pretty of much just writing the formula based upon their charges. Yeah, why, why do you put a 2 in front of <coughs> It was to balance. This one? Because ALBR is no longer individual elements, it becomes a compound. Tim, it's because if I, if I don't put numbers in front of that, okay? So, so if I don't put any numbers in front of those equations, okay? And there's a rule that says, law of conservation of mass says that atoms need to be conserved. So if I just leave it like that, then I'm off by one bromine. I've got an extra bromine over there. Where did it come from? The question would be. It's like, so what you need to do is you've got to make sure the atoms, their counts, are the same on both sides. And you do that by putting numbers in front. That gives me six. Because that's at three and two. Okay? And then that would be a two in front of aluminum. Okay? Questions? So the next one, what would it be? H2O. Okay? H, and then O. O would be a minus 2, hydrogen would be a plus 1, so it would be H2O. Okay, I got that. And then you got to balance it. Then I get it wrong. You can't balance it. You just put 2s and 2s. Okay? So that would be synthesis. Any questions of that? All right. Good to go. Okay, next one is decomposition. Hey, guys, no. All right, so decomposition is the opposite of what we just did. So it would be like CD... And then when it breaks apart, we're going to get C plus D. So it's the opposite. So decomposition is really easy to recognize because that's the only thing it can be. And we know something that decomposes breaks down. So that's kind of what's taking place. We're breaking something apart, breaking it down. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and have you do... Go ahead and do that first one. Okay, so these last two, split them apart, K and Cl, chlorine, you got to have to have two of them. So it'd be two in front of KCl and two in front of K. Okay, the next one is Ca plus N. Nitrogen has to be diatomic, be N2. So it's just be a 3 in front of Ca. Why, could it be Ca3? No. no. You don't carry over the subscripts. We never put metals, a subscript with metals. It's only certain ones that we put subscripts with. Okay, that's why. All right, last one is what's called a combustion reaction. So combustion reaction has so many carbons. So I'm going to put an X there. So you can put a number with the number of carbons that will be with it, and then so many hydrogens with it. So that's why I put X, Y, just because it could be a huge variety of numbers that would plug in there, or could plug in there. If that's called a hydrocarbon. Okay, that's like gasoline, propane, methane, candle. Okay? Plus O2. Oh, this isn't very hard at all. Nope. So then O2, so then these reactions always produce two <laughs> products if they burn completely the way they're supposed to. Okay? Adam. Don't. Okay. Isn't that what breathing is? Uh, so, 
So, when you take a look at photosynthesis, photosynthesis is in the cells, oxygen's present, reacts, you produce CO2 and H2O. So, I'm going to give you one, we don't need to do a lot of these because you just have to memorize if you see combination of carbon to hydrogen and oxygen present, your products are always going to be carbon dioxide and water. First one we'll do, this is propane gas. It's propane, if you burn protein, propane with oxygen, you produce two products. And so go ahead and write your products and then write, uh, or go ahead and put numbers in front to balance. Okay, so if it always comes out to that, you have to write. Why is there an O on the other one? I don't get, how did you? But we would still have to balance it. You, got, you guys have to. Finish writing that out and then balance it. Just finish writing it out and balance it because that's what you have to do on the test. Okay, I'm going to give you guys practice here. Doing these for, so this is going to be what the test is going to look like when you get these type of problems. Yeah, it'll be it'll be the other ones we practiced all last week. So this is the new stuff. I'm excited. You're excited? Yeah. I'm so excited. No, because this is the completion grade. So then you get them back. Yeah. Okay. So, like, you would look at number one and realize that's what kind of reaction? Synthesis. synthesis. So you write synthesis down below, and then you go ahead and write your products out, like we were doing. So all of these on this sheet, 1 through 11, are like the ones that we went through the last 15 minutes. Wait. <coughs> so, yeah, so you won't use any charts with these. Why is there no number two? I don't know. You guys ask so many Questions that are irrelevant sometimes. <laughs> <coughs> Decomposition. One, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. In the reality, the one when you have it and then it turns okay. into a plus. Okay. So, guys, work on those. And I'll come around. If you were gone and you need help on the double displacement, finishing that up, you might want to get that out. Okay? Um, if not, then work on this. For decomposition, we don't need to do that. <coughs>